rescued a Vespula squamosa queen, which is a southern yellow jacket queen. These queens are always really obvious when you see them in the wild because they're so orange. They're large wasps that are colored orange. Pulled her out of the barn window here because she got stuck inside the barn and we don't want her to dehydrate and die in there because she is a very good beneficial native species here in Indiana. So we're gonna give her a little honey snack and then we're just gonna send her on her way. And the way we do that is just put a little drop of honey right there. And then we open up her container. We're gonna use this clear top and put it right over the top of this just to keep her contained while we let her eat a little bit and then we're going to let her go okay now she knows she's safe and she can just load up she was very hungry and dehydrated inside the barn window we're just gonna let her fuel up here for a while before we set her loose into the environment. She is very hungry. You can see her abdomen moving while she eats. That's how wasps breathe. They breathe by contracting their abdomen like that. They breathe through small pores in their abdomen. Now, you had enough? All right, now she's ready to go. So let's let her go. See if she'd like to leave now. Needs to groom a little bit first. She ended up with a little debris on her from inside the container, cobwebs and whatnot, so she's cleaning those off before she takes off. Grooming a little bit.
Southern Yellow Jacket Queens are very beautiful. They have a dark orange body. And you can see the two vertical yellow lines on the back of the thorax. That's how you know it's a Southern Yellow Jacket. No other native species in the States has that vertical pattern on their thorax. So she's very easy to identify. She's grooming and preparing again for flight now that she's had some honey. Definitely wants to fly, but she's having a little trouble. She's probably fairly new out of hibernation, and she's been stuck in the barn windows for a while, so she doesn't have a lot of strength yet. So this honey we gave her, hopefully gave her enough energy to carry on with building her nest this season. So from this point, what this queen will do is she'll go out and set up her own nest, usually underground or in a pretty dark uh, enclosed cavity space somewhere. And about 80% of the time, according to some research, she might even take over the nest of an Eastern yellow jacket that's usually Vespula maculifrons, the eastern yellow jacket that nests underground. Sometimes she'll just climb down into that existing nest, kill the eastern yellow jacket queen, and take over that nest as her own. And this happens sometimes in nature, and she ends up being a natural control for the eastern yellow jacket. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.